All right, guys. So here I'm doing a quick voiceover of a arm day that I did the other night. So you see here I'm doing some uh, close grip Z bar pressure curls and uh, really just focusing on getting that stretch at the bottom. So you'll see I'm going real slow, really focusing on that stretch at the bottom. So we get to that lower part of the bicep and really contract yourself. Uh, I did about four rounds here, 15 to 25 reps. It wasn't super heavy. Again, really focusing on the eccentric part of the movement and really getting that lower bicep stretch. <laughs> This is why Arnold said that doing bicep curls is like having an orgasm. <laughs> Bro, your arms are so pumped. That shit doesn't feel like an orgasm. You're just fucking fatigued. Every time I finish the set, I'm like, oh. Like multiple orgasms. And then we moved over to a neutral bar, table curls. Now here, and you might not be able to tell because I'm doing it kind of fast, but here I'm actually focusing on the top movement of the bicep. So with the Z bar curls, I was focusing on the lower part of the bicep. Now here I'm on purpose going up real high to really focus on the top part of the bicep. That's what I'm putting my mental focus on because at the top contraction of the bicep. And I feel like these cable curls allow me to do that best. I did about four sets, four to five sets, 15 to 25 reps of that. Then we went over into a same handlebar, this is just basically how we're the same handlebar and we focused on tricep press down. And now here I did a pivot set 20, 15, 12, 10, 8, 6, 20 again. So about seven sets here of a tricep press down. And then we I guess where we went over right into the machine dip, where I also did about four sets of 15 to 25 reps. I'm a high volume trainer. I know some people like to do strength training, there's a few sets, there's maybe one or two work sets and they'll go a lot heavier. I find myself that I just feel best when I'm doing 15 to 25 reps in high volume. Uh, then we went over to some hammer curls. Hammer curls, I did variation here, so we did about four to five sets, 15 to 25 reps, uh, variation hammer curls, and then we did some tricep, single arm, overhead extension. Moved over to a tricep skull crusher. Not really a skull crusher, kind of like an overhead extension. And then of course, we wrapped it up with some cardio, 15, 20 minutes uh, of just kind of getting the cardio in. Hello and welcome to Purpose LA Men's Grooming, a high-end salon in the heart of Burbank. Blendings, teeth whining, facials, massages. I mean, you name it, we do it here. So, welcome, Michael. I should do a teeth whining. We are doing a cut in one of our regulars. Michael has been with me for how long, Michael? Forever. <laughs> wow, forever. <laughs> for a long time. Like 20, 2018, yeah. we started together, right? John yeah. Adams, 2018? Mm -hmm. 2018, 2019, 2020? We've been stuck in this since then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. The best haircuts, honestly. The oh, best thank haircuts. You. Thank uh, you. So, so are you guys I'm all ready yours. for this? I'm all yours. Transformation. Oh! <laughs> I just have conditioner. It's just conditioner. Conditioner? Okay. Condition. So condition. we are going to cut your hair first and then we watch it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. The, the transformation is going to be dope. Okay. Trust me, I will walk out of here ready to conquer the day. Kat and Jorge have been instrumental in my appearance and how I feel and how I look. And I think as a man, we work really, really hard on building a business. We work really, really hard on building our bodies. It's also important that you work on your appearance, you work on your visual image, your aesthetics. So keeping your hair in check, keeping your 
uh, beard or facial hair in check, keeping yourself in hygiene, super important. So we're wrapped up with that, uh, and I wanted you guys to kind of get a look into what I do every two weeks, sometimes every every week or every two weeks. I really like to invest in my haircuts. A bit pricey, but definitely worth the investment because you walk out of there feeling clean, looking good, and ready to conquer the day. Completed, another active rest day completed. We are officially, by the time you guys see this episode, which will be out on Wednesday, we are officially 10 weeks out. And when you guys see this, we'll be nine weeks and a half out. So it's getting really, really serious, really, really close to the finale. Active rest day, coming out to the beach, a little bike ride, enjoying the sunset. Again, recapping for that mental wellness that we look after. And that's a, that's a wrap.